Hi everyone, this is Cecil again. Thanks for checking in today. For those of you who've seen some of my other virtual Yellowstone tours or Yellowstone podcasts on YouTube, you'll know that my company runs tours to and in Yellowstone. We also operate Yellowstone Motel as well as Yellowstone Taxi. And what I'm going to be talking about today is how you can find out just which roads are open in Yellowstone at any time of the year. What you're looking at at the moment is a map of Yellowstone. You can see here's the lower loop, here's the upper loop, and you can find this map on our site ysmotel.com. That's ysmotel.com forward slash map. Let's take a look at the northern section of the map. There's only one section of road that is open year round, and that is between the town of Gardner up in the northwest portion of the map and the small communities of Silvergate and Crook City. That is the only road that is open the whole year to motorized traffic. I'm not going to explain why. You can see that in various of our other Yellowstone podcasts or virtual Yellowstone tours or just uh, drop me a question in the comments section below. Let's now take a look at how you find out just which roads are open in Yellowstone. The way that I always do it, rather than trying to remember some long URL, just go to Google, put in Yellowstone roads, and there are two links that come up that are going to be of significant significance to us. I'm going to open the current conditions one in another tab, but the first one that will always come up says park roads. So let's open up the park roads and you'll see firstly this is the National Park Service site. NPS stands for National Park Service and this is where you're always going to get the most updated information. You can go to Facebook or wherever else you like to try and get your information and you, you can ask people there. They're just going to refer you to the National Park Service site and this is the page that you want to be at. First thing, let's notice that we can see there is a map of what they call Yellowstone Live. This will show you at any given time which roads are open in Yellowstone. Please bear in mind that the fact that one or more roads has opened for the summer season doesn't mean that that road is going to stay open. The Park Service in recent years has been very proactive about closing roads when there's bad weather on the way or when there's snow or other adverse conditions around. So we have a look at this text that our tour company received. We subscribe to this text service, and you can as well, and uh, I'll show you how, you how you can do that. So on May the 14th at 9.45 a.m., they sent our tour service, which you can see at usaparktours.com forward slash Yellowstone, they sent us this text saying YNP, Yellowstone National Park, the east entrance road is currently closed. Well, if you're coming in from Cody, that's something that's really important to know. A little bit later in the day at 2.36 p.m., they sent us a text or SMS again saying the east entrance road is now open, but snow tires are required. And the same day at 7.56 p.m., we're advised that the road from the east entrance to Lake has been closed due to winter weather conditions. So it's important to stay on top of these. You can subscribe to the service, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute, or once again, refer to the, uh, to the park map. So how do you go about getting the texts or SMSs sent to your phone? That's pretty simple. This information is from the National Park Service. To receive Yellowstone Road alerts on your mobile phone, text 82190 to 888 I'm going to put that up on the screen. You will text 82190 to 888 Now, I doubt that that would work for an international phone. I don't know for sure. You may like to give it a try, but here's something else that you can do if it doesn't work. Let's take a look at the text messages that we get from the service. You'll see they come from something called Nixle.us. So let's go to Nixle.us, type in Yellowstone National Park in the search bar, click go. 
and that'll show us all the latest notifications as they come out for Yellowstone. So if you're driving towards Yellowstone and if you do have a data signal, and bear in mind that as you approach Yellowstone, your data signal may come and go, and depending which way you're coming from, you may just not have one at all. But if you do have one, you can continually refresh this page to see what the latest alerts are. Now, I showed you at, uh, on the map that you can find at our motel site, ysmotel.com forward slash map. This is the west entrance. Here is the lower loop of Yellowstone. Here's the upper loop. There's the road to the north entrance, the northeast entrance, the east entrance, and then further down here is the road to the south entrance. This is exactly the same map. What we see in green on this map is the roads that are open at the moment. If we have a look, I'm recording this on May the 21st, and we'll notice that one road is still closed. And that is the road between Canyon Village, or Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone, and Tower Falls. That road is always the last road in Yellowstone to open. When is it going to open? Well, we'll see that there's a lot of useful information on this site. I'm recording this, as you can see, in 2022, and this tells me when all the roads did open. So on May the 13th, the road from Yellowstone South Entrance to West Thumb opened, and these various other roads opened. And look at this, on May the 27th, so in just six days' time, the road from Tower Falls to Canyon Junction is going to open. In addition, they note that the Beartooth Highway is going to open as well. Where's the Beartooth Highway? Let's go back to this map. The Beartooth Highway, some believe, is the most stunning road in the entire country. And you'll find it after you leave the, the northeast entrance and uh, you make your way a little to the east-southeast, you'll see the road splits up. It's not shown on this map. And one section of the road will head up over what's called the Beartooth Highway up to Red Lodge. The other will take um, the Chief Joseph Highway and eventually land up in Cooks in uh, Cody, excuse me. So, always look on the National Park Service site to see which roads are going to be open. If we scroll down again, we'll see the spring opening dates. We're also going to see information about road construction as well as the fall closing dates. Look again, October the 11th, the Beartooth Highway is generally the first road that, that closes. This is because its elevation is so high, and they make a note that on November the 1st, all the roads are going to be closed, except the road that I told you about from the north entrance to the northeast entrance, and they'll be closed until the winter, and uh, during the winter, for the most part, you can just get in by snowmobile and snow coach. I mentioned road construction. Let's take a look at road construction. That was the second of the two links that you would have seen when you doodled Yellowstone roads. And this will tell you what road closures you're going to find in, in Yellowstone. And it's got some really important information for you. Let's take a look at the construction projects that are taking place this year. And something that I can tell you, having been here for so many years, is that there is always road construction. Always. The last two years have been particularly bad. If we look at this map of Yellowstone again, the one that you can see at our motel site, this road here from Canyon Village all the way to Tower Roosevelt was closed for two years. That entire road was closed for two years. That's the worst road closure that I can remember in the time that I've been here. But at various other times, a few years before that, this section of road was under construction between Mammoth and Norris, and there were lengthy delays, and then it was closed for a certain time of the year, and it was closed at night. So let's take a look what's going on this year. Here's the map, which you should know by now. And... If we look at the map, we can see that there's road construction over two bridges. The Yellowstone River Bridge, and the Yellowstone River, of course, is flowing somewhere over here. Um, 
is being rebuilt. So when you leave Tower Roosevelt and you head out to the Lamar Valley, and from the Lamar Valley on to uh, Silvergate and Twitch City, this is such a shame, because if you're somebody who wants to get up early and or stay late and go to the Lamar Valley to check out the wolves or see if you can see grizzly bears or the other awesome wildlife in that area, there's going to be delays here. So there's delays over the Yellowstone River Bridge further south on the road from West Thumb to the south entrance. Expect delays over the Lewis River Bridge. That's a much smaller bridge, really, really pretty. You can see Lewis, Lewis Falls there. And by the way, for those of you who are interested, if you take a look at our, um, at our YouTube channel, um, if you just search YouTube for Yellowstone Tours, do it without a space in, in between. We have got uh, virtual Yellowstone Tours and Yellowstone podcasts on just about so many different things in Yellowstone. And here's one on Lewis, Lewis Falls. We'll have to wait for YouTube to finish, finish its, its commercial. We can then take a look at what a stunning sight Lewis Falls is. And I go on to show you that just on the other side of the bridge, you can come up over here somewhere, and there's actually a little trail that takes you to the, to the falls, but you can see that on our, on our YouTube channel some other time. All right, so let's get back to road construction. In addition, there's major road construction this year between Old Faithful and West Thumb. They expect delays. They also note that, as I told you, happened a couple of years ago up here, that uh, we can expect overnight, overnight closures. So further down the page, it gives you the specifics. Overnight closures uh, in the spring and the fall. Old Faithful to West Thumb. There's going to be heavy 30-minute delays in both directions, overnight closures again. And then on the Yellowstone River Bridge, so here you're coming from, uh, oh, I was going to say you're coming from Tower Junction. It's actually the, the, the other way around, going up towards the Lamar Valley. And they give you um, information on what projects are taking place. So always check out the road information first. Always go to Doodle, Doodle Yellowstone Roads. The first link, once again, is Park Roads. That will show you all the information that you need. I mentioned our, our YouTube channel. If you take a look, and who knows why YouTube is taking so long to load, let's have a look at this one. We've got videos and virtual Yellowstone tours of every single road in Yellowstone National Park. And this one here, I'm leaving Mammoth Hot Springs, as the title conveniently tells us, heading up to Norris Geyser Basin. That's the little uh, cafe or eating place on the right-hand side. That there is where the old uh, parade ground was at uh, historic Fort Yellowstone. And there's another of our virtual Yellowstone tours on historic Fort Yellowstone. So you'll find a lot of useful information there. Guys, while I have you here, please remember we operate more Yellowstone tours than anyone else in the world. If you go to usaparktours.com forward slash Yellowstone, usaparktours.com forward slash Yellowstone, you can see all of our Yellowstone tours from numerous cities around the, around the country. You can see our motel at YS motel.com that's ysmotel.com we have apartments we have studios uh, all of our units do have full kitchens we also operate yellowstone taxi if you need to get around the region and in addition we rent bear spray and we also do cooler rentals thank you so much for checking this out and i hope you make it to yellowstone sometime